Well, how are y'all doing today? Hope y'all having a blessed day. So I just had a grocery haul and I uh, want to talk to you a little bit about that. Now it's getting hotter and hotter to find the things that you need to prepare a meal. So you, like me, I plan my meals. So, uh, and I order everything I need to make a meal and I don't always get it, all right? I could make the order, but later on I get uh, notifications that something's out of stock, which is understandable right now, um, but it sure makes it hard to plan meals. So what I got here is I got some canned ham, and I got one of those for a friend of mine. I did, and they were two eighty cents each. All right, it's about a pound of smoked ham, um, and I wish I could have got more. I really do. And uh, I got the ramen noodles, and uh, well, that's a pretty large pack, and each one comes with. Uh, a powdered bullion, okay, and each one of them was two twenty-seven each. Pancake mix, complete pancake mix, is something anybody uh, ought to have in their prepper supplies. That cost me that box cost me dollar sixty-eight. All you have to do is add water. Now you may not have pancake syrup, and I know that we're all geared towards pancake syrup. But you can, even if you don't have butter, if you can spread some jelly on there, okay? Uh, also, it makes for a good bread. That is a bread mix right there, people, okay? Now, tomato paste was 46 cents a can. Now, when I could, I used to grow my own vegetables and my herbs and stuff like that. And uh, I went out and cut me some Italian basil and some oregano and some rosemary and crushed it all up and diluted a couple cans of tomato paste and made me a tomato sauce and served it to my kids. And my oldest son at the time was eight and he come and told me that was the best, best pasta dish I ever made. Now, uh, I like uh, pesto and this ain't, this ain't bad. It's like uh, two, three dollars a jar. Okay, and uh, there's always hot sauce, okay, that adds a little variety to the spice of life. So these are good things to have right here. They really are when it comes to prepping. And uh, I'm uh, about to can me, Lord willing, some uh, English Tavern onions. Now, usually they're made with a medium-sized onion. Some people will blanch them makes it easier to peel. Uh, some people use shallots. Now I do have pickling spices and everything and I have picked up one of the best malt vinegars you can get uh, for that because you use malt vinegar for that and they're sweet and tangy. Uh, but uh, I want to, when I do go to canning these, I, I have a friend that don't chew that well and I don't eat anymore. But when I lived in Canada, I used to be able to pick up Bix uh, English Tavern onions, and uh, oh, they were so good. But I'm going to use pearl onions, and now when I do, I'm going to, because they're frozen, and even when they're not sometimes, I'm just going to soak them in a brine. Uh, well, actually, I'm just going to put them in a bowl and cover them with salt, and that draws the water out of them, because uh, you got to draw the water out of them. If you don't, that water seeps into your brine mixture and dilutes it. And then, so you soak them in, you put them, cover them with salt and soak them in salt and it draws the water out of them and you just rinse them off the next day. And I have my pickling spices for that and, and uh, my malt vinegar. Okay. Hopefully, I will get to that sometime this month. It is a holiday month and I have a plethora of doctor's appointments, but I'm hoping to get to that. And also, um, I want to can me up some, and I'm doing water bath canning, uh, some hot pickled sausages. Now, these are already hot links, and when you pickle you up some hot pickled sausages, you have to have something that is fully cooked, all right? Otherwise, you've got to cook them. 
So it's got to say fully cooked. And uh, you cut them up however you want. And uh, I will be putting some of them uh, pearl onions in there for sure. A little bit of garlic. Franks. Some people just go with Franks, but I like habanero and Louisiana hot sauce has a lot of habanero, and then there's the El Yucatan uh, has a lot of habanero and uh, and some chili flakes and uh, probably some smoked paprika. And I'm going to be canning up some of them, Lord willing. Uh, that's what I'm planning to do, and uh, that's why I bought this big old jug of white vinegar, although I do have some uh, Bragg's apple cider vinegar. I can use that, but uh, I don't think I will. And I want to send some of them out to a friend of mine, too. Uh, now, their birthday is uh, sometime this month. They won't tell me when. I've asked. They won't tell me. And uh, But uh, it's harder now, these days, people, to uh, send out packages and stuff like that. It ain't easy for me, but, you know, it's a friend. And... Uh, Love them daily. And that's what I'm planning on doing. But uh, I highly suggest you pick up some of these uh, complete pancake mixes. They have butter flavored. I got buttermilk. I do have other ones. Just add water. All right, just add water. These canned hams are wonderful. Gonna get me some more of them. Ramen is almost indispensable. Now, I do prefer pasta. Ramen is different than pasta, but you can uh, scramble an egg, put it in there, cook up meat or vegetables in in a, in an oil, and then add your rama with some water and stuff, and it'll cook down. Now, oil is something that no doubt will become costly, okay? Biblically, oil at one point became costly, uh, if you know your scripture. So, um... Pick you up some of that lard. There's lard that don't have to be refrigerated. Uh, Crisco, mm, hydrogenated, uh, makes a good oil burning lamp, but it will go bad. Lard, apparently, if you don't refrigerate it until you open it, don't go bad. So, uh, you know, feel it out because you're going to need oil. Now, when I fry a hamburger, I get 8 to 20. I don't add any oil to it most of the time because, you know, the grease that cooks out of the hamburger I use uh, for other things. If I have vegetables, I, I cook it up in the hamburger grease. and uh, It's making do, people. It is what it is. So, anyway, this is part of my haul from Walmart. And, uh, well, you know, I hope you all have a blessed day and you all preparing for everything. And um, this has somehow blessed you. All right. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.